Hey traders, Mike Sir here. In one of my past videos, I profiled several people who got into Bitcoin early and are now worth hundreds of millions of dollars or even billions, including Mikri Zhang and Changping Zhao, known as CZ. Now, what these two people have in common is they turned their initial wealth in Bitcoin into billion dollar businesses. So in this video, I'm going to profile another individual who found a way to make multi millions by trading Bitcoin and turn that into a net worth of over $24 billion. His name is Sam Backman Freed, the CEO of FTX. Sam wasn't an early adopter of Bitcoin or a big believer in the cryptocurrency industry. He attended the prestigious MIT University and graduated with a degree in physics and a minor in mathematics in 2014. In fact, after graduation, he would work on Wall Street for the proprietary trading firm Jane Street Capital, and his job was to trade international ETFs. Sam, like many on Wall Street in 2017, didn't really understand crypto and why it would be a viable asset. However, what he did see and realize was that there was a money-making opportunity sitting right in front of him. Now, at that time, it was during the middle of the second wave of the crypto boom, when Bitcoin prices rose from $1,000 per Bitcoin to over $20,000. Now, by chance, he came across this cryptocurrency website called CoinMarketCap.com. It was a website that gave price quotes of all the cryptocurrencies from crypto exchanges from all around the world. Now, you might be aware that coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum can be listed on any exchange around the world, unlike US stocks, for example which are only listed on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ Exchange and nowhere else. Or Japanese stocks that are only listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Now, some of the world's largest crypto exchanges include Binance, OKX, Coinbase, and Crypto.com. Now, what Sam saw was that certain coins were selling for way more on some crypto exchanges compared to others, meaning that there was no standard pricing of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. Now, this was when a light bulb moment popped into Sam's mind, and he knew that this was an opportunity to make money from cryptocurrencies that he understood. Now, what he would try to do is buy Bitcoin at the lowest price from one crypto exchange and sell Bitcoin at the highest price at another exchange. And this strategy that we know is called arbitrage trading. Before I share with you the Bitcoin arbitrage trading strategy, I want to let you all know that this video is sponsored by uHodler. They are a fintech platform that is focused on crypto-backed lending with fiat currency, crypto and stablecoin loans for private individuals. Now, they are a Swiss company that is providing a bridge between the conventional financial system and the new digital economy. In addition to lending services, they offer a savings account that can earn you up to 12.3% per year as well they have a one-click exchange where you can convert your fiat currency into cryptocurrency all your crypto assets will be protected by the ledger vaults industry leading security most importantly you hodler has an excellent reputation in the industry with four-star reviews on trust pilot if you want to sign up for an account with you hodler please click on the link in the description box below okay back to the video now, upon realizing that this was an easy money-making opportunity that could soon disappear once prices for Bitcoin would be standardized across all exchanges, Sam quickly recruited his buddies from MIT to help with this project and formed a company called Alameda Research. In the beginning, Sam and his team exploited an opportunity known as the Kimchi Premium. Now, at the time, because there was a huge demand for Bitcoin in South Korea, it was not abnormal to see Bitcoin prices at $10,000 per Bitcoin in the US while it traded for $15,000 per Bitcoin on Korean exchanges. Now, the simple reason was due to a huge demand for Bitcoin in South Korea. However, because the Korean won was a regulated currency, it was difficult to scale this arbitrage opportunity. Sam and his team were able to make small bets, but it was very difficult to do it on a large scale even though there were billions of dollars a day in trading volume. 
And the simple reason was because they couldn't offload the Korean won easily into US dollars that they would need to buy back Bitcoin on the US exchanges. However, Sam soon found a similar opportunity in Japan. Now he noticed that Bitcoin prices were still trading at a premium compared to prices in the US. So after buying Bitcoin for $10,000 in the US, he would send his Bitcoin to a Japanese exchange where he could sell it for $11,000 worth of Japanese yen, a 10% premium, instead of the 50% premium on the Korean exchanges. But the most important aspect was upon selling Bitcoin in Japanese yen, he was able to convert it back to US dollars so he could use it to buy Bitcoin again on the US exchanges. So let me walk you through the entire process that Sam and his team developed for his arbitrage trading strategy. First, he would buy Bitcoin on a US crypto exchange at let's just say $10,000 at the time. Then he would send Bitcoin to his wallet at a Japanese exchange. Now then he would immediately sell his Bitcoin position at the exchange at a 10% premium of $11,000 USD equivalent in Japanese yen. Then he would wire the Japanese yen back to his bank account in Japan. He would then convert the yen back to US dollars and do a wire transfer to his bank account in the US. And as a result, he would now have a thousand dollar profit per Bitcoin, less bank fees in his US bank account. And they just kept repeating the whole process every single day. Because of the ease of sending Bitcoin from one exchange to another and the speed of bank wire transfers, it would only take one day for this whole process to be completed. Therefore, it was an operation that was doable and scalable and allowed Sam and his team to make over 10% profits per day or 50% return per week, which was insane profits. The arbitrage trading of Bitcoin from one exchange to another wasn't as easy as it sounded because in the beginning, it was a challenge for Sam to open up company bank accounts in the US due to many US banks refusing to deal with cryptocurrency related businesses. Now, even if the US banks allowed them to open up bank accounts, they would always question Sam about his international wire transfers. Also, Japanese crypto exchanges would only allow Japanese people to withdraw money in yen. So Sam had to open up a subsidiary in Japan and hire a local person to facilitate the wire transfers. However, once Sam developed stronger relationships with the US banks and the banks understood their business model, it was a race for them to maximize their profits on this limited time opportunity. As I said, the arbitrage strategy was simple, but it required a seamless execution of all the components of the trade, which was definitely not easy at all. First off, Sam had to ensure that every day his team wired the money out of Japan before the bank branch closed for the day or they would miss out on that day's 10% return. Now that meant there was a team of people who spent three hours a day at a US bank to ensure money transfers went through and another team in Japan who waited for hours at the front of the teller line when it was time to wire the money back. Also, Sam had to experiment and find the right trading platform that would allow him to buy Bitcoin in large quantities in a time efficient manner. Now, not to mention at the time, the high risk of crypto exchanges being hacked or some exchanges going under and taking all the customers money. However, in the end, it paid off for Sam and his team because at the peak, the company was sending $50 million USD back and forth on a daily basis and generating a $1.5 million profit per day. Within a few weeks after they started this company, and most importantly before the price difference disappeared, the company had earned about $20 million USD in profits. Not content with their success at Alameda, Sam and his team decided to reinvest their profits partly into building their own crypto exchange, and this was when FTX was born. The exchange opened up for business in May 2019, 
and initially in the beginning catered to big traders offering many different coins to trade and numerous crypto derivative contracts now currently ftx is the number three crypto exchange by trading volume and handling over 15 billion dollars of trading on a daily basis now after venture capitalists recently invested in ftx and its u.s arm the company is currently worth a combined 40 billion dollars You can see from this table of Bitcoin prices from various crypto exchanges from all around the world that there is still some price discrepancy amongst Bitcoin prices. Now here you can take a look at Bitthumb, which is one of the largest Korean crypto exchanges, or Liquid and CoinCheck, which are crypto exchanges in Japan. And you can see that their Bitcoin prices are still higher than prices quoted on a UX exchange like FTX or Coinbase. So the question is, can you still arbitrage trade like Sam and his team in today's markets? Well, the answer is yes, you can. But if you include the price premium, which is only 0.2% now, and you add all the exchange and bank fees, then you barely make a profit at all with this arbitrage trading strategy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video about profiling traders in the cryptocurrency space, then leave a comment below and let me know which crypto trader you want me to profile next. I'll see you all in the next video.